And we have new details tonight from the affidavit after the Pittsburgh County Sheriff was arrested today in McAllister and charged with embezzlement. We brought you the story as breaking news at five shortly after the sheriff appeared in court. Fox 23's Devin Lyon was the only reporter there at that court hearing this afternoon, and he spoke with the sheriff after. I was in the courtroom hearing today for the Pittsburgh County Sheriff, and I spoke with him as he left the hearing. Now, after that, he was taken to the Pittsburgh County Justice Center, where he was processed and arrested. That's where I found this mugshot of him, and that's where I also learned he's on a personalized reconnaissance bond. Now, what that means is he did not pay any financial bond to get out. It just means that he promises to appear at the next court hearing. A Green Country Sheriff arrested and charged with felony embezzlement. But Sheriff Chris Morris says he's innocent. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation began investigating the business dealings at the Pittsburgh County Sheriff's Office in February. The OSBI says it all relates to a new side-by-side -side UTV that Morris purchased for himself back in August of last year. Agents say the UTV was personally used damaged and fixed and even upgraded by the sheriff. That same UTV was later taken back to the dealership and sold to the sheriff's office, bought with taxpayer dollars at a higher price than what Morris bought it for. Court records say he bought the UTV for under $29,000 and its manufacturer's suggested retail price was set under $31,000 for a new listing. Before the court hearing, I went into the Pittsburgh County Courthouse. That's where I picked up this invoice for that UTV purchase. And it says it was purchased just shy of $32,000. I also picked up a five-page affidavit that lists out a detailed investigation by the OSBI, interviewing dozens of witnesses on this case before presenting the embezzlement charges this week. The OSBI says the upgrades the sheriff made to the UTV were taken off before it was given to the dealership. It was sold to the sheriff's office for the same price as Morris's new Can-Am UTV he bought from that same dealership. They also say what was sold as a new UTV had nearly 700 miles on it. In the embezzlement charging documents, state agents accused Morris of entering a trade deal where he would benefit from the sheriff's office purchase in order to buy his new UTV at a discounted price. Court records claim Morris also fraudulently applied for a loan for the second UTV using false information. According to the OSBI, if the charge holds up, it means the sheriff bought a used UTV for over a new listing price with taxpayer dollars and used it to benefit his own personal purchases. But the sheriff says he's innocent saying this is all a scheme to interfere with the election for his office just weeks away. Election interference not only happened in our great nation, it's happened right here in Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma. Uh, we've done absolutely nothing wrong, and the truth will come out. Now this case is being overseen by the Wagner County District Attorney, Jack Thorpe, and not the DA who oversees Pittsburgh County. And that's because this involves a Pittsburgh County official. Jack Thorpe responded to those claims of election interference by Sheriff Morris, and he says that the investigation has been underway since February, and that those investigating him are from Oklahoma City, and that no one local is investigating him. In Pittsburgh County, covering news that matters, Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. Part of Morris's bond is that he cannot contact any of the witnesses of the investigation, and if any of those witnesses happen to be deputies, that he cannot discuss this case with them. We will let you know when his next court date is.